Welcome back to the channel everybody, I'm Kevin and today I'm going to go over everything that I keep in my truck for camping and overlanding. Whether or not you're packing your own vehicle for camping and overlanding, basically the main points are going to be food storage, food preparation and cooking, shelter, and then water. So those are basically the main things you need to have any kind of camping trip or overlanding trip or just enjoying the outdoors. So I'm actually going to break this video down into three parts. I'm going to do everything on the outside of the truck, we're going to do inside the cab, and then we're going to go to the back of the truck and I'll show you everything that's in the bed. Starting at the front of the truck, I do have recovery points. I have factory tow hooks. I do have some ditch lights made by Oxbeam. They're pretty bright. They do have the amber covers on them. Moving to the side of the truck, I do have a set of Max Tracks. Those recovery boards for self-recovery. Up here I have the iCamper 3.0 Mini. That's my shelter. I have a fire extinguisher just for some safety things. And I do have a shovel right here. Um, whether you use that to dig yourself out, dig a fire pit, or foxhole for going to the restroom out in the uh, woods. For water storage, I have a 7-gallon Yakima Road Shower. This doubles as um, a shower itself, as well as pressurized water for washing dishes, um, taking a shower, washing dogs, washing off equipment, stuff like that. On the back here, I do have two um, lights. These are for uh, driving through the woods and for when I have camp set up. Generally, I like to cook on my tailgate and stuff like that, and it's just nice to have light back there for that. They do have amber covers. They just pop right off. <clears throat> so then I have some nice uh, white light right there. On the rear of the truck, I do have a tow point. I use the two inch receiver with a clevis right there. So that makes hooking up straps really easily. And for additional water storage, I do have uh, two gallons of water right here. And everybody thinks this is a gas can. This is actually a toolbox. It actually opens up right here. This door swings open. Um, you keep like common wrenches, common sockets, zip ties, tire patch kit, uh, plug kit, S simple little things like that that you're probably gonna need. Um, along the way so that is pretty much everything on the outside of the truck i didn't go too crazy just stuff that i actually use so on the inside of the truck i don't really like clutter i don't want a whole lot of things floating around in there um, number one i just want to try to keep my new truck clean but number two if i ever get in an accident i don't want a bunch of tools and camping equipment coming and slapping people in the head and stuff like that so i really don't have a lot in here so this should go by pretty quick there's not too many things that stand out in the interior I do have a Ram Mountain system right here with a Bofang radio. It's nice to have um, a cheap little $20 radio. Um, it actually works pretty well, and we use it for trail riding and camping and stuff like that. Um, I do have um, a wireless remote that controls my lights on the front and the lights on the bed rack for the back. So I have some patches up there, nothing special. So that's pretty much it for the uh, front part, the front two seats of the truck. We'll move on to the back. Ford did a really good job as far as storage. So this is not the hybrid model. So on the hybrid model, underneath the seat is where the battery would be. But since I have the EcoBoost, I don't have the battery for the hybrid. This is all storage. So I keep all of my um, bedding and sleep systems. Everything fits underneath the seat. So we'll just start at one end. That's just for cleaning the truck. I have um, a pillow. I have not one, but I have two down-filled blankets. They're puffy blankets. They're really lightweight. Um, you can shove them in just about anywhere you want underneath seats and everything like that and it'll conform. Really good to store. Really good to have. Um, this right here is actually my... Um, it's not really a first aid kit by any means. It's more of like a wound kit. I got bandages, medicines, um, ways to clean wounds, neosporins, um, just stuff like that. I can I guess I can open it up here in a second. So basically on this side, I just have some bandages, some strong ibuprofen, Ivarest, if you get poison ivy, something like that. Uh, a lot of band-aids, ways to clean wounds. I uh, have gauze, tape, more bandages and stuff like that. So basically, it's like I said, it's not really a first aid kit. It's more of just like a wound kit in case you get injured out in the woods. Clean you up and then get you to the hospital. All right, so this is actually a underquilt for a hammock system. Really good quality. I think Ron's actually used this more than I have. Um, I also have some backup deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste, and then we'll go check out the other side. So over here, I have a towel for taking a shower at the back of the truck. I have a raincoat. I have a sweater, and then I have another puffy jacket just in case. This right here is the bug nest for the hammock. This right here is the hammock rainfly. 
and uh, this is number one of three hammocks that I have. I keep a couple on me. They're really easy to store. That way, if anybody goes camping with us and they don't have anything to sleep in, we can just throw them a hammock and they'll be uh, pretty comfortable. Of course, you got toilet paper. I got some phone chargers, some more deodorant, um, some uh, lip balm stuff. So that's pretty much all the stuff. And all this actually fits underneath the seats, which is really convenient because... Um, like I said, I don't really have any clutter floating around the inside of my truck. Making our way to the bed of the truck. As you see right here at first glance, my dad and I built a drawer system. So on the right side right here, I have a Rock Palace 1300 watt uh, battery bank. And this is actually on a slide. Pull it out just a little bit. So I have access to the refrigerator, the power. Bank. On the inside of the bed towards the right, I do have 12 volt power. I got two uh, USB ports and I have one 12 volt socket. When I'm not using the power bank, I do run the refrigerator off the bed of the truck. To add to my recovery gear, I do have a Rhino USA toe strap right here, as well as some shackles. And now for the uh, main event, I guess, we'll look through everything that I pack in my box. So as you see right here, I have a set of tongs. These aren't used just for food. It's really easy if you're cooking with charcoal and like cast iron, Dutch ovens, stuff like that, you can actually move the hot charcoal really easily with a set of tongs. That's pretty much what we use those for. I do have a small propane tank right here. It lasts me um, relatively about a year. I can go without having to uh, refill this. Right here, I have a 12 volt air compressor. Not only is that for airing up tires from trail riding or um, if you have a flat tire, you gotta plug it. You can air it up that way, but also this pressurizes my Yakima road shower. So I put about 55 PSI in there and that gives me uh, enough pressure for a whole trip, uh, depending on how much I use it. Moving on, I do have an Eno sleep system. So in this little bag right here is an Eno double nest, straps, rain fly, and um, the bug net. So all that is in this one bag, so it's really easy to uh, not lose anything and you won't forget anything at home you can just grab that bag and you know for a fact that you have everything you need this is actually my fire starter box everybody should have some kind of little kit for starting fires and uh and this one i usually have some of those cheaters the little like kerosene soaked little fire starters but uh i've actually started using these fire plugs made by um, bigfoot bushcraft they're really good um they're waterproof and everything they burn for about five minutes and of course uh, i also have um, some dryer lint right here so if I run out of these, I can use the dryer lint to start a fire. Um, I got a ferro rod. This is just another container for um, the uh, fire plugs. I also have a couple lighters and stuff that I normally keep in here. So this item right here is kind of just for fun. Um, this is actually the Four Patriots Sun Kettle. So what you do is you put um, water in here, and it's got some mirrors inside of it. You open it up, set it in the sun, and it's going to boil water for you. So um, like I said, I don't really use that often. I don't think I've actually used it in a video before. But it's just something neat to do if you're bored sitting around a campfire or just at camp. You can actually set this in the sun and uh, boil some water to make hot chocolate or cook with or anything like that. Um, camping in Florida does get pretty hot, so I always keep a little fan. And this fan will actually run off the 12-volt um, power bank that's over there. And this right here is a 100-watt solar panel. It folds up like a briefcase. And this actually will recharge my um, Rock Palace 1500-watt uh, power bank over there. So... That goes to that stove, move over here. This is actually a cooking grate. So if we're not gonna use the stove, we wanna cook over firewood, um, I, I can actually just set this on the ground. It's got legs. You can cook corn, steak, peppers, whatever it is, you can set it right on top of this pots, pans, and it actually folds up pretty nice. And it's actually not that heavy, so um, I don't really have too much weight in the bed of this truck. Uh, up next, I'm gonna pull out these four bags, and we'll go through those bags. These right here are actually my REI Packaway bags. I have two 25 liter bags and two 15 liter bags. So I'm gonna go through each one of these bags to show you guys exactly what I packed. But this is just gonna be a lot of cookware and that bag right there is electronics. So we'll start with this one right here. Try to knock these out pretty quick. This has a lot of knives. I have a couple plates, have some collapsible bowls, some cooking pans. But the newest kick that I'm on is I really love these Sea to Summit pans. They're collapsible. They have hard bottoms so you can cook. You can use the knife to cut things still. And uh, I like to steam some vegetables. So they even have lids right here. So you can actually steam vegetables and whatnot. 
Um, I do have some pretty big knives. Down right here in the bottom is uh, my chopping block. Have a lot of tin foil for fire cooking. So you got a lighter. Can't have enough of these little lighter stick lighters right here. They're pretty cheap. See them all the time at checkouts at grocery stores and stuff like that. Uh, in here I have uh, spoons, knives, forks. Got some scissors for cutting food. Got another pretty good knife. Can never have enough good knives. Speaking of good knives, our friend David from Jackalope Travels um, taught me about this Mora knife and Ron and I actually bought a couple of them and this thing is so sharp it'll cut through everything. We've been using it for probably almost four years now and it's never let me down. It's cut everything I've needed it to and I can't recommend these enough. They're probably only they're probably less than 30 bucks. When I bought these four years ago I think they're like $19 depending on what color you wanted. But I'm sure with inflation and everything, they're probably close to $30 now. I've um, got some soap for cleaning dishes and stuff like that. And I'll go ahead and close this one up. We'll move on to the next. This next one right here is kind of just like an overflow. So I have some uh, bug sprays right here. Got some plastic cups. Some more plastic cookware. I have some Ziploc bags for leftovers. Paper towels for cleaning up messes. Um, somehow I have a whole stack of ARB air locker stickers. Not really sure where that came from. And I have some gear ties. I love these gear ties. Uh, we use them especially for hanging the solar panels on the side of the truck. Trying to get some sun. And uh, just some more cups. So at the other side of the truck, we'll open this up. This is kind of more spices, stuff like that. So in this bag right here, I have a bunch of uh, dinosaur oatmeal. Some little like Nutri-Grain bars. That's for if we're out boating or hiking or enjoying a day at the spring as we always have some snacks. Um... Cracker Barrel Macaroni and Cheese. Um, we buy this at Publix. Uh, we really love this macaroni and cheese. It's really easy to cook. You don't have to add milk or anything. It comes with a little cheese packet. So kind of just cook the cheese noodles, boil them, and then add the little packet, and you're done. That's pretty much it. Um, got a couple canned goods, green beans, corn, stuff like that. And in here, we have uh, cinnamon and sugar. We have... Um, some pan for spraying the bottom of the pans, salt, pepper, of course, Everglades seasoning. I'm not really a coffee drinker, so I always have some hot chocolate with me. That way I can wake up in the morning, heat up some water. Um, so we got some Everglades uh, all-purpose breader. Got some vitamins that I found at Publix. Got some more pans, more green beans, a different style of macaroni and cheese. Last but not least, we have some more tin foil. So I really recommend having tin foil when you're cooking. If anything ever happens to your stove and you're gonna have to cook on the fire, um, if you don't wanna put your pots and pans on the fire right in the flames, you're gonna need some tin foil. Last but not least, this is the electronics bag. I have three LED light reels in here. And these are the reels that I wrap around my truck. You see them in a lot of my videos at nighttime. They give off a tremendous amount of light. So there's one, these are all three different generations of them. This is the very first generation. This is the latest. Then they have this one right here, which is RGB, changes colors, stuff like that. So those are all LED lights. Then I have power cords. If anybody ever shows up, they need a power cord, power cord for their phone, GoPro, camera, you name it. Chances are I probably have one. So a lot of headlamps and stuff in here, um, just various cords. I also have a 12 volt shower in case something happens to this or something like that or somebody wants to take a shower i have a 12 volt shower it also has a little faucet head like you'd have at your kitchen sink for washing dishes um, i haven't used these in a long time but i have these lucy lights i used to live off these lucy lights they're really cool still work really well but like i said i have so many led lights now that i really don't need um, solar lights and that's pretty much it a bunch of uh, cables for um, the refrigerator in case one of those cables go bad i always have a spare one of those and uh, that's pretty much it for my electronics bag so there you have it that's everything that i keep inside my tiny little truck for camping overlanding hiking mountain biking boating uh, no matter what i'm doing this stuff is always in my truck always ready to go so if you're building out your vehicle hopefully this gives you some idea as to what to keep in there like i said you can break it down really easy as to uh, a fire starter a way to make fire shelter water food storage and food preparation that's pretty much everything that i keep inside my truck and i'm a little redundant on the uh, sleep systems i like to be comfortable 
and we're always having new people coming out camping with us people that always are interested in learning about camping and stuff like that meeting new friends so i always try to keep some uh, blankets and uh, hammocks and stuff like that just in case some people want to crash with us